this has got to be the most chaotic thing I think I have ever seen us do. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that Oda? Oda? Hey, sir. Sir. Oda. Hello. Oh, have hey. You seen anything suspicious around here? Hey. Um. Um. You know, this is all starting to feel pretty normal. So carry on. <laughs> <laughs> So there's something I've been wanting to do, and that's uh, on this little beach right over here. Let me show you real quick. On this little beach right here, as you can see, this little beach collects a lot of boats. <laughs> In fact, someone even put up a sign, free boat parking. But uh, this is kind of a little, little bit of an ocean here. We've got just to get uh, situated here. Uh, there's my house right there on that, on that hill. Uh, there's Zink's house over there. This is kind of the... There's a bit of an ocean going out this way. That's uh, Archon Kai's base that he's getting started on. And over there is the spawn portal. So just to, and, and there's a uh, Nard's house up on the hill. So just to get your bearings here, that's where we're at. But uh, this is uh, a lot of people go sailing out into this ocean and use this to travel back and forth. And um, I thought it'd be nice to have something here other than just a sign and some torches and a bunch of random boats. So I was thinking I wanted to build something here and oh, look. Someone conveniently left a double chest full of building supplies. How convenient. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it to a time lapse while I build this and I'll see you at the end of that. Okay, well I am done building this boathouse, and I think it turned out pretty nice. Let's go take a look at it. So I was kind of inspired to build this by a picture of, a, of an actual boathouse from Massachusetts that I found online. Granted, it's uh, just inspired by it. <laughs> but um, I think it looks pretty cool. It's kind of a mostly A-frame kind of a building that comes down almost to the water, water line here. I'm gonna put a little bit of a separation between the different colors. And actually, this is the first time I've really built with uh, regular prismarine because it's just kind of a wonky looking block. But I think it actually works here. I think it actually works with the colors. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, let me show you around the sides. I put a little bit of um, detail in the roof here. Uh, so I, I intentionally kept the roof all one color. I didn't feel like uh, diversifying it. I just kind of wanted it one solid color. But I did break it up a little bit by adding these little like uh, window things in here and then kind of like it almost has a look of like a vent type of thing up top. And that also mimics that uh, picture I found online just a little bit. Let's take a quick look inside. It's not too much going on here. It's just a boathouse. It's basically uh, three little piers sticking out here where you can pull up your little boats to it. And uh, we got some fish and stuff along the walls. And uh, these to me kind of look like life preservers. <laughs> so I kind of thought they looked kind of nice hanging over there. And um, let's see, we got some little bed benches here. So if somebody comes in from a long trip and they pull in here and it's nighttime, they can sleep before they go venturing out into the spawn area. And out here in some of these chests on the end, I actually put a few extra boats in case uh, we run out of boats. So let me just kind of get a view from it as if you were uh, sailing into it from the ocean. All right, here we go. Yeah, so there it is. It kind of looks nice sitting there. It's kind of a nice uh, welcoming structure here to this spawn area. And I, I, I mimic the uh, I mimic the um, front side of the house out here, but then of course the bottom side is just open to the piers. And you kind of come sailing in here like this, and you got all these nice rafters up top with uh, with these uh, chains of varying lengths holding these lanterns. I, th I think that actually turned out pretty cool myself. I thought that uh, looked was a pretty neat little detail. So yeah, there it is. That's my boathouse.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this build, and I'm going to head over and take care of some business that's been waiting for me. A couple of episodes ago, I caught two of these invisible spiders in minecarts. Uh, this is something I've been trying to do for like, I don't know, like 10 years of playing Minecraft, and I finally did it. Uh, but now I think I need to uh, get them out of their little caves here and get them over into where the action is. As you can see, this little guy here, since he's in a cave, he's actually aggroed on me, and he will, no matter where I go, he will just stare at me and try to hurt me like that. And the other one here is up on the surface, and since it's daytime, even though it's raining, he is not aggroed on me. And that is this one right here. So he'll kind of like, uh, I can stand next to him, he'll, he'll look at me sometimes, but then he'll often just like look away like he doesn't really care. And when he looks away, his eyeballs kind of disappear. <laughs> his eyeballs really only show up when he's staring at you. So sometimes it's a little weird, it looks like he's completely gone. But anyway, um... I'm going to go ahead and run a bunch of this rail over to the marketplace to a nice little spot where I picked out for them. And I'll be right back with you once they're ready to be transported. Okay, I've got a rail run all the way down there to the marketplace. You can kind of see it snaking up here and around this little hill. And I've ended it right here next to this spider. But I'm thinking I might actually take the one that's on the surface first. That'll be a little bit easier to get out. Also, he's not aggroed on me. So let me just go ahead and finish running this rail over to him. Okay, here he is, and let's see, there we go. I should be able to just put one down underneath him. Hey, that works. Okay, um, I did bring a uh, furnace cart, so I'm going to use that to push him. So why don't we go ahead and, you know, I need to name them first in case they get out. So I'm pretty sure their name tags will not be displayed since they are invisible, but just, just for fun, I made this one. His name is Two Dots Sideways, and he's Two Dots. He's like a colon. And he's just dot dot because they kind of look like little eyeballs. <laughs> so let's go ahead and name this one. Okay, that's why I suspected his name does not show up because he's invisible, but that should at least keep him from despawning, especially if he gets, because uh, we're going to get him out of this minecart eventually. So let me just give it a little bit of a nudge, and then let's go ahead and get some coal. And I don't have coal. I knew I'd forget something. <laughs> okay, well, he's slowly just kind of moving. Let me go grab some coal. All right, I am back with my coal. Okay, it looks like he made a little bit, but he didn't get too far. So let me go ahead and... I'm not really sure how much coal you have to put in these things. Um, let's just try one and see how far that gets us. Oh, it just took one. Okay, why is it not moving? Go this way. Is it going the wrong way? Uh, what's it doing? All right, can someone tell me how these things work? <laughs> oh, here I was. Thought I was being cool using something interesting instead of just... Uh, Powered rails. Okay, let's go ahead and boom. Okay, there it goes. All right. Okay, so now he should get behind this one and just start pushing. Oh, wow, that's... Come on. Oh, gosh, I keep putting more coal in it. It's not moving it. Why is it moving it? Oh, there it goes. Okay, um... That was weird. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I have a break in the track here? Mm. Oh, my gosh. I, oh, I'm such an amateur. I'm such an amateur. Can I get a track under there? No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. No, no. Oh, come on. Come back. Oh, jeez. Once again, a decade worth of Minecraft experience here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go ahead and put it here. Let's get a piece of coal and... Boom. See, look, it gets stuck. It's not moving. Why isn't it moving? Okay, come on. If I kind of collide with it, it starts moving a little bit. Okay, there it goes. This is so goofy. This is so goofy. Okay. All right, you got you, man. You're cruising now, buddy. Man, you don't even need the. That thing is slow. Oh, <laughs> he is flying. Check him out. All right, he made it up here, so I had him. Uh... <gasps> no. What? No.
No! He just suffocated and died on that grass block. What the heck, man? Well, well, at least we have two. Um... Okay, so I need to stop the cart, apparently, on something that's not a solid block. Uh... Something that they're not gonna suffocate against. I mean, I guess I could have it... So, so here's the deal, right? I was gonna have it come in, and then I was gonna have it stop, and I was gonna just kinda push it this last little bit, and then he'd hit this activator rail and pop out of the cart in this little cage. And, um, and yes, that says fresh eyeballs, because <laughs> it's right here behind the witch hut, who sells eyeballs. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, I could just have it, maybe I can just have it stop against this, uh, against that. Maybe I can just have it stop there, and that shouldn't suffocate him on anything. Man, I feel like such a noob. I feel like such a noob, but honestly, I really didn't expect him to suffocate on that, but I guess, I guess most mobs are, like, standing up. They're more, like, tall, like a, like a zombie or skeleton. And he's wide, so I guess, yeah, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Still stinks. <laughs> All right, well, I don't want this next guy aggroed on me, so let me go ahead and sleep away this night and go get number two. All right, so here is the other one who is perpetually mad at me because, again, he's in a cave. See, yep, there he is. Um, I need to get him out of here, and I have to hope this... Uh, this little coal-driven thing is actually going to work this time. So I'm thinking that that might give a little bit of a, a little bit of a down, a little bit of a down momentum here once I put a track there, which might give him enough momentum to get. Oops. Uh, okay, let me get this in place and I'll be right back. See, this is going to be like three wide. I don't want him suffocating on anything. Stupid. Spider. Okay, okay, so I'm all connected. This is a really steep hill. And I feel like the goofiness that we had with... Well, the coal cart never got pushed backwards, so I'm hoping that will stay. And, um... <laughs> okay, 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 let me get everything in place. Let me get this track laid down, if I can get it right. Can I even target that? I can't target that. Let me get in here. Can I target from here? Okay. This guy still hurt. Okay, I get, I get it, I get it, buddy. You're mad at me. You're mad at me. Uh, can I target underneath that cart? I can't get that targeted. Maybe I can just push him down onto it. <laughs> if I can get up there, because he's knocking me down. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I hear you. I hear you, dude. I hear you. I hear you, man. I'd be mad too. If I was stuck in a mine cart. Don't, don't. Okay. You know what I need to do? I need to break all of. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Oh no! <laughs> I saw these blocks the moment I pushed him down and I didn't get them out quick enough. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. 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 Um. Well, who knows? Maybe 10 years from now, I'll, I'll get another one and I'll be a little bit more successful that time. Oh, jeez. You know, the shame tato that I'm wearing is for my deaths, but honestly, it really should just be for my Minecraft skills. <laughs> jeez. And if that wasn't enough failure for one episode, Elle needed some help with her gas farm. There's a bunch of sticks up here. Like a stack I of sticks. That could have been mine. Sticks. And a, yeah. some spruce logs. That would have been mine. <laughs> it probably oh no, I went through the portal! No! Oh no! Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I do not want to be here! <laughs> oh no, there's cooldown. <gasps> hey, Oda. <laughs> oh, there it yeah, goes. There we go. I think it's like 15 seconds or something. <laughs> Okay. So now I wonder, oh Millie, if... Whoa! Hello! Hello! There's a gas. Oh, oh, I'm oh, doing no. the MLG thing. Oh, let's see if I can land this bucket. <laughs> land the bucket. I did not. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. Lane needed some help breaking some bedrock for the nether portal. Let's see how successful I am on this one.
<laughs> Did it work? I thought you were gonna blow up that. I don't know. <laughs> This, this thing. Where was it supposed to break? Oh, it's supposed to break right here uh, under the piston. Uh, <sighs> Lane, you lied to are me. Are you looking? <laughs> oh, didn't I didn't. Oh, yeah, did. see, look, he screws <laughs> up and it still works. What the heck, man? <laughs> <laughs> and it's upside down, so it didn't work. Right. This was done for me every time. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, she got it. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this billboard's been up here for a while, and at this point, I'm starting to think I'm kind of required to mess with it. Right? Right? Like, it can't just stay there and not get pranked. And if I prank this thing, I'm kind of contractually obligated to do it with this on my head. Right? Right? Like, I have to do this. Like, there's no possible way I can't do this. <laughs>so I'm sitting here in the middle of spawn and right behind me is that very first crafting table that we all gathered around and it is now enshrined in this beautiful monument that Toblox made and I want to talk just a little bit about spawn this entire area is what we call spawn I can't even get far enough to get it all in view <laughs> technically spawn was right here where my cursor is right where we all appeared on the corner of that little bit of land but this entire area is what we call spawn. Uh, the main thing out, the main thing about spawn here is that this was where everyone was going to kind of make their starter bases, and we have this like temporary uh, trading market here, which is really just here until we have a proper shopping district. And as you can see, this spawn area is getting kind of full. Everyone's got their got their starter bases up here. They've got their beautiful landscaping. And everything has really, really been shaping up here. But as things go in the world of Minecraft, people are starting to get a little bit restless. People are wanting to uh, spread their wings a little bit, so to speak. And, you know, maybe start moving out, trying to find uh, areas to start building their main bases at. And also, quite frankly, people are starting to look for things like shulker boxes and elytras. And they're really wanting to kind of go to the next level of the game. Of course, we have no intention at all of abandoning spawn. Spawn is still going to be very useful. First of all, there's still people building here. And second of all, our main shopping district isn't going to be ready for a while, so this marketplace is still going to be used. But like I said, we need to set our sights forward. And as you've probably noticed, if you've been watching my videos and um, the other members' videos, nobody has a light tree yet. And we also don't have shulker boxes. And all of that means we're going to have to go find us a stronghold and fight a dragon. Now, we're not quite ready to fight the dragon yet, uh, we probably will be very soon, but one thing I want to do right now is go ahead and find a stronghold. So we can go ahead and uh, get a portal located so that we can um, get right into that fight once everybody's ready. So I got in touch with Zinc and Lane, and they're going to go on an adventure with me. I have plans to make my mega base area kind of down on the south side of the map. There's some interesting land and terrain down there, and I was really hoping that I could find an end portal down that way. You know, just to make traveling a little bit easier. So we're going to be meeting up here in just a few minutes, and then we're going to head on down south and see if we can find us a stronghold. I was sort of going to wait for you to throw a pearl and then... Oh, no, no, no. So, so basically, I, I, want, I want to try to yeah. find one that's in the southern side of the map because I, I want to build a base down that direction. Uh, so right. we're, going to, we're going to go to my uh, resource mining spot and kind of start there and, and hope we can find, a, find one from there. Beautiful. Yeah. Fantastic. Cool, yep, so we're gonna go over to the nether portal and then we're gonna have to, uh, we can grab some boats from the boathouse while we're down there. Yep, there it is. Oh, that's almost, 
Yeah, that's almost dead south, isn't it? Well, here, let me throw another one and see where we're at. Let me get up on top of this little part here. Oh. 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 Well, do we just start digging down? That's what it sounds like. Sounds yeah, good to I me. Think so. Are we just gonna do that kind of thing, or <laughs> are we gonna do like try to do stair steps? Why not? They they say don't dig straight down. I say we each grab a block and we just dig straight down. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, sure. You know what? I should probably get a bucket in my hot bar because that's the worst yeah, that could happen. Yeah, I was just happen. thinking. Ready, set, dig. Grab ah. Grab Who's gonna get there first? Who's gonna get there first? <laughs> you guys, because I'm using a bed for my gravel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 It wasn't rendering. It looked pitch black to me. I thought we were about to fall down a hole. Alright, I'm not seeing a stronghold yet. Oh, Ooh, we just hit deep slate. It's probably not much. Yeah. They're usually not. They're usually oh, not water, in deep water. slate. I found it. I found it. I found it. You did. All right, keep yep. going. Now we're flooding the whole thing, aren't we? Oh yes, we're in here. Nice. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. Any interesting loot we find in chests, we can split. But the, if there's a stronghold, um, one of those armor trims. Yeah. Well, if we find one, it's going to have to go in the barrel for people to replicate. But if we happen to find two of them, I would like the second one. That's cool. Yep. cool. Awesome. Thanks. Oh. Cool. Divide and conquer. <laughs> Divide okay. and conquer. I'll, I'll head up. I'll All right. Way. I'll go this way. Sounds good. Hey. I, I just found a dungeon. A zombie spawner. Oh, sweet. Diamond horse armor. A book of smite three. Another diamond horse armor. Tree. Really? Nice. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Got you gotta... Oh, look. I just... This goes right into an, the middle of an amethyst geode. And another armor trim. So I got you, two. No. <laughs> you got the two armor trims. Excellent. Two armor trims. Sweet. Nice. Well, I've run oh. into three creepers so far. That's not... Uh, well, here's a bat that I can't. Oh, <laughs> I just got a bat head as well. <laughs> no, sweet. Nice, gentlemen. I found it. You found the uh, found the portal the, room. The portal. Nice. Ooh, library. Is this the one you found earlier? Maybe uh, not. Maybe not. Nice. So, oh, here's a chest up here. A smithing template. Eye armor. Is that the one that you got too? Eye armor trim. I've got two of them. Yep. Nice. And another armor trim. So enough for one each and one for the... Uh, oh, well, that's perfect. The duplicate. That's perfect. Awesome. We did it. Right. Woo! That was easy. <laughs> that one's um, not, not much of a challenge. <laughs> no, not at all. Awesome. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we can, we can all edit that down to about four minutes of interesting one minute? material. Yeah, oh, four minutes. <laughs> You're doing the extended cut. <laughs> the extended oh, cut. Nice. I'm going to find four minutes out of that. <laughs> right. nice. Somehow. So now that I'm back from the stronghold, it dawned on me that I actually have four armor trims. So I can actually decorate all of my armor without having to spend the diamonds to make any copies. Well, when I say I don't have to make copies, basically we make sure that there is one of each armor trim that's found in the community chest where anybody can go and uh, make copies of them as long as they have the diamonds for it. But any that are found beyond that one can be used by the players who find them. So if I'm going to decorate my armor, I'm going to do it in style and I'm going to do it with diamonds. <laughs> so I already played around with the designs on the different pieces of armor here and this is how I landed on them. So I really like this one for the helmet. And this is the uh, shaper from the trail ruins. And that, I think that was kind of cool. It kind of has this band that goes around there. The other option was this one. And that's just kind of a straight line. So I like this one a lot better. So that's going to be my helmet. I'm going to use the new one I just got from the stronghold for my chest plate because look at that design. How cool is that? <laughs> I love it. So let me go ahead and grab that one there. And of course I have two of these host armor trims from the trail ruins. And just by default then, that's what's left for the uh, leggings. And the boots. 
All right, now let's see what this all looks. I'm gonna have to take my shame tato off for a moment here. Oh. oh, check this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this is this is some bragging rights right here. This is uh, this shows wealth and power, and well, it also shows that I wasted four diamonds. But no, 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 no. It shows wealth and power and all of those awesome, great, wonderful things and stuff. <laughs> Something like that. Wow, this actually looks really cool. I really like these this eye on the chest plate. That is freaking awesome. So cool. All right. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call this episode here. I know this one was a little bit uh, random and chaotic, but I'm glad you stuck around and uh, made it through it. I appreciate that. Well, again, thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate you, and I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. Um, be sure to drop me a line in the comments and say hi. Um, if you made it this far, honestly, you're one of the elites. So many people just are bail after the first minute or two. <laughs> and if you've made it this far, really, please just drop me a comment. Just say hi. You know, just anything at all. Just, you know, good job. Hey, how you doing? Hey, that episode stunk. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't mind. I just want to say hi to you guys. I just want to hear from you. <laughs> And also, if you haven't uh, checked out other folks on this server, I encourage you to do so. Down in my description, I have a link to every single one of the members. And if you have a little bit of time to spend, you know, maybe go through that list and, and pick out one member that you've not watched before and just click on their channel. You know, maybe check out their latest video or something. Um, everyone on this server is so talented and so friendly and, and all of their content is so very different. Everybody has a totally different style, editing style, play style, just totally different talents and skills. And I am certain there's gonna be at least one or two other members that you are gonna absolutely love if you check them out. Well, I will see you in the next episode and until next time, you take care of yourself, okay? Bye-bye.